Hello, I'm Brian Dobbins and we're going to go over how to make a silicone mold using smooth-on silicone. Here are the things you need. Some silicone. I have smooth-on silicone Amu 30. It is a one-to-one -one ratio by volume. Two cups. Some foam board. Glue gun and glue sticks. Some clay. A box cutting knife. Something to stir the silicone with. And some gloves. First you'll want to mount your item onto the foam board and then cut out individual pieces that go higher than the item that is on the foam board. Once you get that all together, take your glue gun and start gluing the edges together. The box should look like this when you're done. Then you're going to take your clay and put it into the spots where the silicone could leak out. This is the silicone. It's a one-to-one -one mix ratio by volume. So you can either use a scale or just eyeball it. And I'm going to just eyeball it. So you're going to first start out with the A, which is the pink. Once you get that poured, you'll go ahead and pour the blue. Make sure that it is an equal ratio. When you have them measured out, you'll mix them together until you get a nice purple consistency. You'll want to make sure you're wearing your gloves for this part. It gets kind of messy. You want to make sure you get a really good mix of the two compounds. Because if you don't mix it properly, then the silicone won't set right. And it can ruin your mold. Now we will grab the mold box and get ready to pour the silicone. When you pour the silicone, you want to make sure you're at a high angle with a steady stream of silicone flowing down over the mold. This will help prevent air pockets and will also give you overall coverage for your item. One of the negative things I found out about my silicone in this cast is that the A was a little bit too rubbery on some parts, so I wasn't able to get a full amount to cast the whole item. You will not have to do this step usually to spread around the silicone because you want to fill the whole box to the point where you want the level to be. Now you'll just break down the size of the box and slowly start peeling away at the silicone until the mold comes free. And here is our completed mold. Thanks for watching.